Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make printables using Adobe Photoshop and you can use those printables to sell them on Etsy. This was a requested video after I made how to make printables using Canva. A lot of you guys wanted to know how I make them when I do my Photoshop. So I wanted to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial of where I find my clip art how I make my signs using Photoshop. Now, my number one tool that I always tell everyone to use, it is Photoshop because you could do so much more with Photoshop than any other editing software out there. Now, my second favorite platform is Canva. And those are kind of the two that I always recommend. But today's video is gonna be all about Photoshop. So if you want to learn more, make sure that you watch all the way to the end. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel and you want to learn how to build an impactful online business, don't forget to subscribe today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment below if you learned something new. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, I buy majority, like 99% of my clip art through Creative Market and I absolutely love Creative Market. And... To show you how many stuff that I buy from them, uh, I'm gonna show you here. These are all the things that I, I have personally purchased uh, throughout my years with Creative Market. Um, and these are all things that I use for my business, uh, for social media, um, for my Etsy stores, etc. Um, but these are all the things that I buy from them um, because they have amazing people that do amazing work. Today, I'm going to be working with these flowers right here, which are one of my favorite flowers. Um, I got like a bundle for $18 and you get a whole bunch of um, different flowers that you could use for personal or license. I bought it for licensing so I could sell it. But these are all the different designs that you get with them and they're just beautiful white flowers. So the first thing you want to do is have the clip bar, have the vision of what you want to make. Um, a lot of the stuff that I sell on my Etsy store are for wedding and like party decorations. So we're going to do like a wedding sign today to kind of give you an idea. Now, normally what I do is um, I'll use Photoshop. This is my Photoshop here. So we're going to size this up. And I like to start with a big, with the biggest size, which is normally the one that I sell the most, which is 24 by 36 inches now a lot of sizes you could sell two sizes or three so a 24 by 36 could also print a 20 by 30 um for instance a 16 by 20 could print an 8 by 10 so just keep that in mind sometimes if you have a file already that's pre-made 16 by 20 but the person purchased an 8 by 10 you don't need to resize it down to 8 by 10 you could just give them the 16 by 20 and they could print it either size so that will save you a little bit of time also when you're uploading files you don't have to necessarily upload every single file individually because some sizes um, are the same equivalent of two three or four sizes so for this video we're going to work with 24 by 36 i'm going to do vertical and you want to make sure that when you're using photoshop the resolution you always want to pick 300 that way when the customer prints it out it's very clear it's not grainy and it's just a beautiful print that they could use um i do rgb color some people change it and do cm cmyk color now if you're using a specific printer or maybe you print out your the prints yourself um it sometimes it does tell you that you need to print it out on c cmk i'm sorry cmyk um for the most part majority of printers do take um rgb However, if a customer ever tells you, I need it on this, then you just use this one to make the design. So for the purpose of this video, I'm using RGB. Once I do that, this is my template here. I could kind of work with this and do whatever I want. Now I'm going to take the clip art and I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to do the design first. That's what I normally do. So I'm going to look through the flowers and kind of see which ones um, I kind of like. So let's see. Um, I like these corner ones. So I'm going to pick this one here. I'm going to drag it 
and it's gonna load and all you pretty much have to do is if you drag this up it goes right there it's very simple and you could extend it and make it a little bigger if you wanted to and kind of drag it right there once you're done with the sizing like you're you're good with it and you're like i think that looks great just check the, the check mark and it's going to save now what i normally do is i try to match the same flowers like in the other corner so what you could do is you could duplicate this is this is a main one which is a template and every time you add something it's going to add it as a layer on top of the template so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one so i'm going to right click duplicate layer i'm going to press ok and now i have two flowers and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to rotate this flower so it could be the opposite facing the opposite so what you could do is click on the layer go to image or hold on go to edit and then click on free transform and from here i'm going to go ahead and flip it over there you go and then i'm going to drag it down and i like it there so i'm going to press ok so we did that part i'm also going to make the background like a dark blue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the actual template which was the main one that i did i'm going to click on color and i'm going to play with this this is a nice thing about photoshop you could pretty much use your imagination and creativity to do any type of coloring any type of design if you have a specific color you could just put the code here and it will give you that color so you could pretty much do anything i kind of like this kind of like navy blue light blue so i'm going to do that color it's already selected and then i'm going to take the brush tool and i'm going to make the tool the brush a little bit bigger so i think i need it a little bigger than that so we won't be here all day trying to color it and i'm going to go ahead and start making this dark blue in the background now keep in mind that originally when you first open the template and you're making the size like let's say 24 by 36 you could pick the color right there and then you don't necessarily have to do it um later like i'm doing now so it just depends on what you decide to do if for whatever reason you decide that you want to make like a last minute change and stuff so i'm going to do this all blue so it might take a few seconds to change because i just like how the white flowers and the green tones um pop from the blue so as you can see i have the blue right now i'm going to click here and from here i'm going to do i think i'm going to do um a box inside of this so let's see i'm going to do a rectangular and what i'm going to do is I'm, i don't want to fill it in because i just want to do like a little outline and i'm going to do it in white and we're going to leave it at 5px for now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the first layer and i'm going to go like this and i'm going to put the white there and I'm going to press this again, and there goes my white line. If I want to make that white line a little bit bigger, all I do is click on that layer and go to up here and change this to, like, let's say 15. And when I do that, it made it a little bit thicker. I kind of like it that way better. So now I kind of have, like, the how I want the sign to look like. Uh, now I'm going to put in the wording. So I'm going to go back to the main one here. I'm going to click on text and another thing that I that I do is I buy a lot of fonts from Creative Market. So you'll see that um, I have tons of fonts um, and you'll start buying a lot of them because if you start creating a lot of different designs, it's just a matter of time that you start like you find fonts that you fall in love with. So I'm going to use one of my favorite ones, Allura, and I'm going to change the color of the font to white. And I'm going to click here, make this a little bit bigger, 200. And I'm going to put in welcome. Oops. So let's change the the size of the font. I'm gonna, you go to window, character, 
and you remove it so it could be there you go so here we go so welcome to and i'm going to make this a little bigger to 50 the size and i'm going to drag it and put it right here so welcome to and then right here would be where i would put the person's name of whoever the sign because this is going to be a personalized sign so this is to, okay so i'm going to put welcome to nancy's oops so again i'm going to go to windows character i'm going to remove it from being big nancy's nancy and then I'm going to put N. And then I'm going to drag this here. And I'm just going to put Robert. Robert. Welcome to Nancy. And Robert. You could put what in here. Um, I like to put it here for some reason, like on the knee. So normally what I do is I take a different type of font. So I'll click here. Well, I'll click. Oops, let me get out of there. So I'm going to do a different font, like a, a box font. So I'm going to do this font here, Railway. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do like 200. Let's do a little bit smaller. Um, 100, let's see. Okay, some fonts, you have to play with them um, because they're different. Like you might do... 200 in this one and then 200 in this one this one might be like three times bigger so i'm going to put here welcome to our wedding and then i'm going to play with the size now so i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it could be kind of like underneath this so that's a little bit too big so i'm going to make it 130 there you go i'm going to put it right there and then make this like right there right there push this down and then what you do is I'm going to put the date down here for the person so I'm going to put August 20 2020 and then this I usually make a little bit smaller and then um, if you want to be more creative you can always put like a flower here if you wanted to um, for me simplicity sometimes is a little bit better than adding too many stuff on it I think this has already enough you know design right here and right here and you can kind of play with it you know move the the names up a little bit more if you think it's too close to the flower etc i like it there because the t almost touches it but then the n is right there but this is how i create wedding signs that i sell on xe as you can see it's very simple another nice thing about photoshop is that i can make this xe sign and duplicate it and create like 10 different listings by just changing the background color so this could be one of the ones that i sell and then i could just go here change the color they say i wanted to make the sign um for whatever reason let's do like a like black then all i have to do is just just change the color and then i could make this as an, a, another design so this could be another design for people that are looking for a black sign with white flowers. So there you go. I did two listings, right, in five seconds. And you could do this. You could do a whole line of the same sign with different colors. You could do one with a pink background. You could do one with a black background. You could do another one with, you know, um, whatever colors. And you could change it around. Like I could do a pink one if I wanted to. And it still looks really beautiful. And then all I will recommend is if you do like the lighter color, um, possibly change the letters, right, to a darker color. Like maybe you could do navy blue if you wanted to or black so it could stand out because if not, it doesn't, it looks like it could get washed off. So just changing that into black. But as you can see, it's very simple to do so. Um, and then you could just change this color. And this will be the, the new sign. But you could do, um, this is why with digital prints, I always tell people that you could do, you know, easily every month, 200 new listings, um, you know, on your spare time. Because you could, cre you could create one design 
and make 20 designs out of that one design because you're just changing the colors or, or maybe you're just changing the flowers on every design. Um, and that's all you will need to do just to tweak it a little bit and change it to um, different colors. And that's all you will need to do. But it's a very, very simple process to do. Um, as you can see, I'm doing it right now as I speak to you guys. Um, and it's very simple. Right now, I change it with black letters. I even changed the outline of the outside. So technically, I created three different signs. One with a black background, one with a blue background, and one with a pink background. And I did all of this with Photoshop. And when the customer um, gets this, it's just beautiful. It looks great. Um, you don't have to worry about it being distorted. Look at how clear this is how this is just a zoom of the photos and look at how beautiful and clear it will be. It's just very, very clear with Photoshop. Um, the print will come out beautifully. So I kind of wanted to show you guys how I do it. It's very simple. Once you get the hang of it, I mean, you'll be doing this like nothing, but this is how I create printables that I sell on Etsy and you could do this with any type you could do wedding signs you could do bridal signs you could do um baby shower signs you could do birthday party signs anything that you could imagine you could do any color you want and that's the flexibility of Photoshop it's so easy to use you could save it in a high quality file JPEG and PDF and you could send that over to the customer so they could print it at their local printing center so it's very very simple and easy to do so guys if you enjoyed this video let me know if you like to see more videos like this because i could add them to my to-do list and create additional videos just be very specific on what type of videos you would like me to create and if it's something that i know how to do i will do them for you guys uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and thank you